Hi guys, so I figured it was about time to do another project pan update and uh, I'm going to start out with the thing that I finished and that is the Rouge Volop Shine lipstick. This is uh, in number 47 and um, I have I like dug out a little bit in there just to really get the top layer out. I'm not gonna like fully dig out everything that is in the bullet. There's probably like a little bit more underneath here. Uh, but that takes time and effort that I'm not going to put into this. Um, it's finished and I'm happy with it. And uh, I know I said that I would add more, one more of these in when I finish this up, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, instead, I will be starting a new project pan um, after New Year's and I'm gonna add one of these in there instead. Because I feel like I have enough things to focus on in the next three, four, three months already without having to put another lipstick in there. The eyeliners, um, this is Rimmel London uh, Scandalize in Nude and Mag Marc Jacobs uh, Gel Crayon Thingy. I have used this like once or twice, no progress to speak of there. Um, now that it is September, uh, I can rock more like dark eyes and not look like a vampire. So I'm probably gonna get some more progress on this now that it um, it is September. This one, however, do, I do get pretty good progress on, and I've taken this down a good chunk since we started. Uh, I use this as an eyeshadow base still, and it seems to be working really well for me. Uh, I just put it on my finger and then like pat it on my eye, and um, it's going down. And uh, this is one that I am sure I will finish before. Um, December is over and then uh, let's do this palette uh, it has all of the eyeshadows and the bronzer that I wanted to finish in here um, let's do the bronzer first there is definitely like becoming a dent in it um, but it's even I don't think it's nowhere near actually hitting pan because this is a pretty deep pan for being like a sample size so I don't know how you guys if I will be able to do anything more specific with this in the next three months. Uh, I know I for sure will not be able to actually use this up, but I will be doing my best to hit pan. But this shade is a little bit dark for me, so not that I will be getting even lighter. And I'm pretty light in the first place. I don't really tan, I just get freckles. Um, but now that I'm going to get lighter it's going to be harder to use this up because I will have to be even more careful with it than I have been until now um, but it's going down there and uh, I think it's also a good lesson to see how long things actually do take to finish up uh, and I also do want to mention that I don't wear makeup every day and then just so uh, it's getting more and more dippy but uh, there's still a lot to go to the pan like these MAC pans are so deep um, and then there is a uh, blank type, which uh, it has this ring and it's getting pretty hard to get in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, repress this and I'm also going to repress espresso, which is even worse since it fell out and cracked on me. So both of these I'm going to re- Jesus. They're okay though. Um, yeah, I'm going to repress a uh, blank type and I'm going to repress espresso. So next time... I will be, um, hopefully I've hit pan again next time. And then there's leather and lace, which is making some decent progress, partly because it's cracking. So uh, every time I use it, it feels like small pieces are falling apart and uh, falling to the floor. But, um, I mean, this is, um, it's a shade that's easy to use because it's so light. And I can even like probably mix this with this one when it gets, um, when I get lighter and actually make both of them work together as like a bronzer. Um, and then there are the three from e.l.f., Periwinkle, Truly Pink, and Mocha. Mocha has decent progress. It's an easy shade to use, but it just takes a little longer than regularly because I have to put this underneath. And not because I like have to actually use this one specifically, but I need a sticky base under it to make it actually stick to my eye. But um, I had a goal of using, uh, like, making this pan the same size as this pan, which I think I did succeed. It's differently shaped, but it's definitely um, 
equally pin, I think. Next up is Nutty. And uh, Nutty is, an, um, shade, is a shade from Wet n Wild. And uh, I have decent progress in there, probably like one fourth of the pan is showing. And um, it's a really easy shade to use because it just goes with everything and it's really easy to apply. But I usually apply it with my fingers and that makes it last longer because you don't get any fallout. You just put your finger in there and just rub it up on your eye. Um, so yeah, that was this little palette. Um, I mean, I have a lot of pan, but I did have some pan in this when I started as well. But um, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit pan on gesso because it's not a shade that I can use that much. It's like a stark white. Um, but I'm going to be trying my best. And then, like I said, I will be repressing these two just to be able to actually use them up. And then the three last thing that are still in the Roland. And um, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. And this has decent pan in it. It definitely does. And I think I will be able to finish this up in the next three months. Uh, I'm going, probably going to be using it for like until my uh, October update. And then I'm probably going to repress this as well. Because the pan is getting pretty low. So, uh, and this is a pretty shallow pan as well. So it doesn't take that long to actually use it up. But um, it's, an, it's a decent powder. But all of my foundations doesn't need powder. I don't want to use just the ones that do need powder just because I feel like it makes the foundation heavier which is pretty obvious since you are putting extra product on it but um, I don't know uh, I, I'm hoping I will be able to finish this up and then there is the blush and uh, this is from Dior and uh, there are still freaking letters in this after over half a year um, it's just I don't know how they were just printed that hard in there. Um, and this has nowhere near of a dent. I'm not really a blush person to begin with. And uh, this was pretty much unused when I started. I don't know why I thought I would be able to finish this up in eight, mo eight months. But um, it's been fun, especially since I don't really wear blush. I mean, no, I just have to stop buying them. But they're so cool. And uh, they're so pretty. But uh, it just... I, I mean, I can wear them, but my face is a little bit red as it is. So it just doesn't, doesn't, I don't know. I just need so very little. And uh, it's not like this is a really dark or super pigmented shade. It's just that it's a blush. And I'm just not a huge fan of them. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna hope that the letters will be gone soon, but apart from that, I don't have a goal for this because hitting pen on this by January is not gonna happen. I will keep using it though. And then this is the Dior highlighter, which I'm in love with. This is the prettiest thing in life. And um, it's, it's getting down there. It's not like I get like a ton of progress but I can definitely see it being used like if that makes sense so it's not like I get a big dip and a lot of pan or anything but all the letters are starting to fade like especially like well it's like up there um the, the n and the u and nude uh while the d and the e are pretty well especially the d you can see almost all of it um but I mean I'm starting to wonder, maybe I'll just keep going with this in like the middle, so we'll maybe see some pan, because that would be nice, but I don't know. This is the uh, last product that I still have in the Roland, and um, I'm going to keep working on it, and I'll probably be using this forever. I'm not really mad that I didn't hit pan on this, because I love it, and I'm not be able to buy more of it, because it is Dior, because uh, it's not cruelty free, so I won't be buying more of this. I have this one and a backup and it feels like it's gonna last me all of my life um but that was my project pan update for this month um i will be back with another update next month and make sure you see my other project pan videos i have several older ones as well as obviously this um this round or this this particular challenge which is a finish 17 by 17 challenge um, and I have finished 
or well like it's three things but it's four things um the um this one the foundation and the um and the liquid eyeliners it's it's going um i'm hoping to get some more progress but like i said i don't wear makeup every day so it's not like the super easiest thing to do but yeah that was everything that i had for this video i do hope you enjoyed it and uh remember to give it a big like if you did leave any comments down below request for any videos you would like to see and stuff like that and subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>